Today, the hub of the cross-country network in South Yorkshire is Sheffield, which was opened in 1870 as Sheffield Midland, and its ornate architecture is now listed. The station was the route to London for the Midland Railway, and the capital is some 169 miles southwards. Upon the grouping of the railways, the station transferred to the London, Midland and Scottish Railway, and saw many Stanier Black Fives, sightings of which were just as common in British Railways days. Departing from Platform 1, the large new stall of WH Smith can just be seen, along with signs for the plentiful amenities on the platform. The sight of things to come in the form of a brand new Metro Camel DMU, later to become the beloved Class 101s. With the withdrawal of all steam on British Railways in the late 60s, it was doubtful whether Sheffield Midland would ever see steam locos again. But thanks to the preservation movement, the city has relived its steam past on many occasions. Here, double-heading LMS locos Black 5, 5305 and 5890 Leander arrive for a special to Steamtown at Carnforth in the early 80s, much to the appreciation of the assembled spotters. Pulling up next to a pre-refurbished DMU on the centre lines, 5690 shunts onto Platform 1, ready to take the approaching train off the Class 25. On the south side of East Bank Tunnel, just south of the station, and one of the newly introduced HSTs approaches from London St Pancras. But the 125 wasn't the reason to be filming. A cloud of smoke generated by a visit to Sheffield from probably the most famous locomotive in the world. LNER 4472 Flying Scotsman. This film was taken after the loco had been rescued in 1973 by William McAlpine from its infamous visit to America, as the black-backed nameplate testifies. During Alan Pegler's ownership, the loco had red-backed nameplates. <laughs> 